major relief features of the earth introduction when we look around us we see that the earth is not the same everywhere we find large variety of landforms on the earth's surface thus landforms are the results of internal and external forces which influence the earth due to internal forces like earthquakes volcanic eruptions etc the surface of the earth becomes uneven but external forces help in wearing down and rebuilding of the land surface the wearing down of the earth surface is called erosion the surface is being depleted by the process of erosion and rebuilt by the process of deposition these two processes are carried out by the external forces like running water river ice glacier wind and heat types of landforms we find variety of landforms over the earth's surface broadly we can group these landforms depending on elevation and slope as mountains plateaus and plains mountains a mountain is any natural elevation of the earth's surface which rises more than 600 meters above the sea level the mountains may have a small summit and a broad base these are the highest landforms and occupy about 1/4 of the total land area of the earth mountains are further divided into three types fold mountains the mountains which have been thrown into massive folds or ridges by the earth's movements are known as fold mountains these mountains are primarily horizontal and cause wrinkles or folds fold mountains usually consist of parallel ranges or ridges faults are common causes of mountain upliftment fold mountains are characterized by rugged relief and pointed peaks the himalayas the alps the rockies and the andes are the example of young fold mountains whereas the aravallis the appalachians and the great dividing range of australia are old fold mountains block mountains These mountains are formed when a mass of land was pushed up between parallel cracks or faults in the earth's crust or by the sinking of land around them. These are usually steep-sided and flat-topped. The uplifted blocks are termed as horsts and the lowered blocks are called graben. Black Forest in Germany and Vosges in France and the Sierra Nevada in California are some typical examples of block mountains volcanic mountains the volcanic mountains are the result of accumulation of volcanic material ejected from the interior of the earth when a volcano erupts hot magma is thrown out with a great force this magma accumulates around the vent of the volcano and forms a tall cone-shaped mountain known as a volcanic mountain kilimanjaro in africa Fujiyama in Japan, Cotopaxi in South America etc are examples of volcanic mountains. Importance of mountains. The mountains are useful because mountains are a storehouse of water as many rivers have their source in the glaciers in the mountains. Water from the mountains is also used for irrigation and to generate hydroelectricity. The river valleys and terraces are ideal for the cultivation of crops. Mountains have a rich variety of flora and fauna. The forests provide fuel, fodder, shelter, and other products like gum, raisins, etc. They provide ideal site for tourists. Plateaus. Plateaus are highlands with a broad and more or less flat surface. They nearly always rise abruptly above the surrounding country. on at least one side that is why plateaus are also called table lands they are generally higher than plains some plateaus are very large and extend over thousands of kilometers like the deccan plateau in india almost every continent namely africa asia australia and south america has plateaus plateaus can be classified as intermontane plateaus Piedmont plateaus continental plateaus importance of plateau they are rich in mineral deposits so many of the mining areas in the world 
are located in the plateau areas. Several waterfalls are found in the plateau areas. For example, the Hundru Falls in the Chota Nagpur Plateau. They support grazing and forestry. Plains A plain is a level surface of land at a low elevation from the sea. The plains are the widespread landforms of the earth. The interiors of most of the continents are occupied by the plains. Most of the plains are formed by rivers. Some plains are extremely level. Others may be slightly rolling and undulating. The plains are formed both by internal and external forces. Most of the plains are formed by the sediments deposited by the rivers. The rivers carry stones, sand and silt. When the speed of the river is reduced, it deposits these materials in the valleys. The plains are more thickly populated than the mountains and the plateaus. The important plains are the Gangetic Plain in India, the Prairies in USA, the Huanghou Plain in China, etc. Importance of Plains These are most useful areas for human habitation where most of the population of the world lives. These are thickly populated as more flat land is available for building houses and for cultivation. Mostly, these are made up of fertile soils so the land is highly productive for cultivation. Landforms and the people Humans have been living on different kinds of landforms in different ways. Life is difficult in mountainous areas. The plains provide much better conditions. It is easy to grow crops, build a house or a road in a plain than in a mountain. Quite often we use the land in a wrong way. For example, buildings are constructed over fertile land. We throw garbage on land or into water making them dirty. We should avoid using such important gifts of nature in a careless manner. The available land is not only for our use, it is our duty to leave the earth a better place for future generation as well.